welcome youtuber collectors this is a newbie 009 and today i present you from transformers the last night premiere edition deluxe dinobot slash and you see over here in the packaging very very nice artwork of him really really cool over here really nice dinobot slash yes he's an autobot transformers in this side premiere edition over here in the other side a nice nice artwork of him really really cool i really like it in the other side of packaging transformers and over here in the back you see a slash in his rubber mode and his velociraptor mode and you see over here in the corner you got to see the deluxe bumblebee and deluxe barricade and over here shocking hazard in different languages because some parts are a little bit uh, small but let go and open this box and we got to see how cool he look and this is a uh, dinobot slash in his velociraptor mode and he is very very nice and as you see over here in his eyes let me zoom it in there you go really really nice red color in his eye really really cool the tits over here very very nice painted man you can bite he have these uh, spikes over here, really cool. Inclusive over here, and the connection we're supposed to open the jaw, is painted, some silver, really, really nice. Nice, nice details. See his body, has some kind of spiky things. Detail, really, really nice separations. These are spikes on the tip of the tail. It's painted like a blue, metallic blue. Very, very nice. The tail is just curved. You cannot move it, but it still look really, really cool. Over here, the claws are painted in silver. That's very cool. Here we go. It has some ribs area over here. Really nice mold silver over here. Again, the claws over here. The foot area. Really nice. And look at this little spike. He has some kind of metallic blue color some black uh i know he has some kind of i don't know this is gun metal or something kind of shiny but overall he look menacing a little bit of silver over here in the top of the head but i like the way they make him really menacing now he has some articulation um you can not move the the neck maybe you can move it a little bit up but it's part of the transformation but this is the position supposed to be open and close the jaw you know Rawr. you see Rawr. you can open and close it very very cool you can leave it like that you can 
gonna get closer the little arms can go up and down can go left and right but it's a ball joint over here but no articulation in the claws over here and no articulation in the little elbow that's mean uh, like I said the tail is one fix it's kind of a little bit curved it's a little bit of movement because it's kind of like a soft um, rubber but that's it now this ones you can put in some position like a little bit up and down and the legs have articulation um, it can go side see it can go side can go back can go a little bit front that's the best position um, the knee because it's part of the transformation you can move it but this is the most correct position and over here in the claws area you can open this part no open but you know you can close it but that's part of the transformation there you go and it has swivel but it's part of the transformation part but he look really 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 nice really cool for comparison, I have a little class AD31 Optimus Prime in vehicle mode. That's mean you have uh, this is a little class. That's mean, yeah, it look it look not too bad in that size. Very cool. I think this is a. Uh, strafe but this is not the oversight this is just the KO metapore uh, black knight I think the KO will be more the oversized KO will be more bigger there you go we now have deluxe uh, new barricade from the new movie there you go. That's not bad. <laughs> and let go and transform him in his rubber mold. Um, the first thing you need to do is over here, you need to take these two parts. It's like a, some access. See, this is his weapons. Those one go peg right there. So we're moving these two. There you go. Just kind of like a, um, tab it. There we go. Put it in the side. You know. <clears throat> now. Um, yeah, let go to form the arms. This mean you just need to move down like that. <coughs> Sorry for my voice. I don't know today. I think my the allergy is kicking me. I do the same thing with this side. There you go. Flip it up. Now. Over here, the legs, you can move it a little bit better like this. Okay. And this one, very easy. Oh, you need to move, twist like that. And twist this way like that. There you go. 
update this put it away in the back and there we got the fist there you go do the same thing with this side you see it's like a bigger space over here just need to move it like that there you go just accommodate the fist there you go <clears throat> now over here just move this section like this move this one like that trying to keep the arms a bit separate there you go just move it like that move move it away there you go Now where you have him like that, all this body, when you push it, you got to hear like a heat click. When you put it down, he on tab. That because all this section inside go inside here. So when you put it like this, kind of push it up. And you hear you hear a click that's mean just push it down very easy and just move all this there you go and all this you see this space go way over there like that see we just leave it like that for a moment we got to fix that in a moment let go with the legs for the legs just take the head in the top and you see this is like a double joints this mean you just it kind of can move it like that. There you go. No way it can be like that. See? Now you can separate the legs. See, they have different tabs everywhere. So you can just tab it. You see? The way they going <clears throat> now let's see that way you guys can see there you go like that now take this part just move it around see that's gonna be for the feet or that and this one could be more like at the heel section Take the other one, do the same thing, move it to the feet. There we go. I know it looks kind of weird. There you go. Now just move, turn around the feet, turn around the feet. Trying to align it a little bit. Now for the head, this is the tail. Just move it like that and you reveal the head. And now finish connecting. There you go. See, that way you can move all that section in onto the stay in position. Now take the fist, just move this like that, there you go, move this one like this, there we go, just trying to do the best as possible, now this part, just move it like that, the arms, just kind of put it back, See, like this, I know, 
and this just move it put it there it's like a, some kind of shoulder things there you go and there we go slash in his robot mode you see it very close let me get closer nice nice now it's zooming in that way you guys can see nice nice head skull really really cool very gothic armor you see the, the eyes are red very very nice this is like a I think it's kind of like a gun metal or again that blue the chest is that metallic blue see very cool very very nice details very very nice <clears throat> really really cool very nice you know the way the way this one stay like that you can make possible use it like a weapon you know. very very cool there you go there you go the 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 toe <laughs> Very cool, yeah. Um, you have a little bit of uh, Velociraptor junk in the back, but it's not bad. It's not bad. You know, really, really, really nice. Really, really nice. For articulation, his head can go side to side, you know can look he cannot look up and down his arm can go up can go back can go size a uh, uh, ball joint uh, swivel in the bicep he have a little bit of bend a little bit of bend not not too bad. Uh, he fist don't move. That's the only downside. Only when you transform him in in Velociraptor and Dinobot. But yeah, um, that's the way to go. Um, waist movement very cool. I like that. The legs can go up if you move this one a little bit somehow there you go can go a little bit more up like i'm trying to kick you <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh can go side there you go swivel over here close to the to the knee the knee can move. There you go. Nice, nice bending. And the knee, that means you can put it some. And the heels kind of can move a little bit just because of the transformation, but it's better to leave it like that. And the toe move, but you need to keep it in that position, otherwise, he don't stand it up. Now they come with two weapons, like I showed you before when in the transformation. They have some kind of, um, I don't know, it's some kind of axe or something. Oh, let me see, there we go. Sorry, when I shake it, I think my camera, but yeah, not bad. There's some kind of paint job, but it's soft rubber you know and these ones go over here see it's a hole over here yeah that way you can put bolt there you go <clears throat> there you 
there you go and as you can see you can have it in some pose now for comparison this is from age of extinction evasion mode voyager optimus prime you see he's more taller i need to move the camera a little bit back there you go voyager optimus prime no bad scale very nice and and this is a comparison with the DOTM Dark of the Move Little Class Optimus Prime but at the same time I don't know you guys but for me it look like a shredder from Ninja Turtles <laughs> yeah he look kind of you know especially with the with the head skull like that and those claws over there it look like a shredder from from Ninja Turtles but overall in Velociraptor or Robot Mode he he's very nice really really cool Robot Mode is nice he don't have a lot of movements especially in the area with the with the hands the legs are fine but the hands yeah you cannot do too much pose you know the dynamic pose but i prefer him in his velociraptor mode because i think he look really really cool this way it's not mean the realm mode is not bad but i prefer in this way now they have some little flaws in his in this mode too especially the legs area over here when the transformation go to turn the legs might come a little bit loose in this ball joint and this area over here the ball joint was easy to fix because i just take it off and use a, um, a nail polish and put it there let it dry and pick a bag but here they had those little pins and I put nail polish but it's it's not bad it's not solid but it's it's okay and that's the way you can fix it up all this small thing I have for him his small is awesome he has some areas of silver the eyes are red the, uh, the tooth in the in the mouth very cool silver medieval you know iron color you know hopefully Takara come with one with a paint job better still really really cool if you want this guy you can check it out in your local store that's the way I get it or you can check in eBay that's normally most of my transformers I buy I got to leave you the description the link below sorry of eBay in that way you can check it out and get one want to see more transformers Star Wars and sci-fi toys in my collection please subscribe and click the little bell and that way you have updates on my uploads please put a like and please put a comment like I always say 
have fun with your hobby, and play with your toy collection. This is Anubis 009, and I'll see you till the next time.